Hello, welcome back to IT Laundry. Uh, this session will be around Azure Stack uh, Development Kit. We will do an overview, who, what, where, when, and why we use it. And then we will deep dive into the installation and configuration of the tool itself. So what have we learned from Microsoft? Uh, I mean, customers and uh, people who use it. 75% uh, expect to deploy their first instance of Azure Stack uh, shortly after uh, general availability and 50% delivering solution server-based uh, application based on VMs. This is short-term and long-term. And then uh, why should you care? The Azure Stack kit allow you to start preparing your org for a new operating module hit the ground and running within a short time period, understand the impact and prepare your IT teams and then experience the capability in the cloud. Accelerate time to you know, market. I'm not going to spend too much time on this one, but these are the pillars. And then we move on to the who should be interested. You know, Azure Stack is one node uh, deployment uh, kit, which is triggered uh, or triggered the following basically. Consistency across experience, cloud and on-premise, demonstrating the Azure Stack service application, kicking the uh, tires around, you know, dev test and developing the app, and you can POC it and you know, uh, move on with your implementation. And what is the kit itself? The idea behind the Azure uh, Stack kit is to limit deployment duration, minimize the hardware requirement, reduce the installation of the component, easy to install by PowerShell, and you can generate a large environment with a few clicks and then enable on-premise modern apps to be integrated with the cloud. And where can Azure Stack uh, dev kit be deployed? Any system that meets the minimum hardware requirement, basically, you know, it could be a laptop, it could be a server, but what I mean is you can use existing uh, data center or large workstation machines, dev, uh, dev kit uh, assumed to have a uh, featured network, uh, minimum requirement, storage, memory, and can be utilized and used for the deployment. There's a link here, you can see it says uh, it goes to Microsoft.com. Uh, Azure Stack and Azure Stack Deploy, that will give you basically the entire step-by-step uh, -step guide. Now, when is Azure Stack Dev Kit be available? Past, present, future, started 2017 and we are 2022 and heading toward 23. It's already in place, offered, and these are the versions and, you know, monthly update, provide ability to module application solution with minimal uh, investment then uh, we we say why is a uh, kit important for us minimum scale simplicity and flexibility low cost overhead and that will allow us basically to easy and speed the deployment maintain the health with the minimum requirement and basically reliability from the azure self and the uh, hybrid uh, module approach then we move on to the next level, which is why this dev kit is important to us. Hardware and software modernization, workload uh, compensation or composition, and workload management and the operation side of it. We start from making ourselves familiar with it to need of the architecture module for the application, and then we move on to the adaptation for the life cycle, and then the Azure Stack will allow us basically to introduce a new operational process module which facilitate all of these now the last part is when to use and what this is the most crucial part basically so we define what is it why how when but this time is what is in it for us as your uh, resource policy dev kit and oem integration system you can see the development to modeling and testing using Azure Stack application or solution, using the services like Azure Policy uh, to configure Azure subscription, versioning, uh, and then the possibility of limitation on what is possible, what is blocked. This is through the Azure Policy itself. Then you move to the modeling, which allow the admin to experience the admin construct and tenant ID and tenant 
stack through the Azure stack, allow the dev team to test solution against Azure service, including API versions, different uh, to what we do on premise because this is will be hybrid and the difference are shipping to Azure stack. And then you go to OEM around the testing, allow the admin to experience with the API testing against validation of our application. Now, this is the first, uh, just like an overview. And as I said earlier, we just like covered a uh, few, few, few information around the uh, dev kit, who is interested in what is covered, where, when, and why do we need it. That's all I had for you for now. And as we join the second session where we can uh, speak about basically the technical side of it, you know, the architecture, and hopefully that will, you know, cover the technical part for us. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.